Hello everyone, and welcome to a Fallout 76 camp location guide. Today I'm going to be featuring three camp locations for farms, if you want to build a farm. So let's get right into this. The first location is going to be up north by WV Lumber Mill. This location is very secluded, so if you want your camp to almost always be placed, definitely set up around this area. If you are friendly with the raiders, however, they will not attack your camp. They will actually help defend it. Friendlies also spawn here, including rad stags, toads, and occasionally frogs. This farm field is very, very... I guess, war. It's seen better days, but you can still tell it's a farm field. There's even some existing plants still here for you to harvest. Over here, there is a phosphate deposit, which is good for fertilizer. However, I do not recommend you set up on this. This phosphate deposit is just too far away from the general field. There is a minor fence set up here as well. So this location is up north by WV Number no, the northwest of the map. The next location is nearby. This is going to be near Tyler County Fairgrounds, just south of where we were previously. seems there is an event going on as well. So once you make your way to Tyler County Fairgrounds, I'll give you a little guide just to walk there. Just follow this road. I was gonna say that guy usually don't take more than one shot. So the next camp location is right here. This is also a random encounter location, so be warned, there will be minor low level enemies spawning here. However, if you do manage to kill all of these enemies that spawn here, you have some minor defenses. Settler colonist or raiders. Particularly settler colonist like to spawn here. This camp location features a wood pile, which you can put an extractor on, and it is very centralized, which means you can have all of this within your camp area. You also feature two barns, which have minor loot scattered around in them. Minor loot scattered around in them. You can put your benches inside these buildings. This, which appears to be a tato pen, I guess you could say, uh, can be used as a Brahmin pen and a chicken pen for your cows to get fertilizer. Over here, you can place plants that go from this end to this end, allowing you to build a minor farm. There is some old tractor equipment here, and some minor room right here to build a small house for yourself. This camp location is north, just north of Tyler County Fairgrounds. You guys a little view right there. The next camp location is way down south. Way down south. I actually have my survival tent placed there just to mark it. This camp location is also very secluded. And even though it is in the Savage Divide, it is devoid of Scorch Beast coming by and uh, tearing up your camp. <laughs> it's always a struggle. Them Scorch Beasts, they will tear your camp up. There is one downside of this, this, well this I guess you could count as two farm locations right here. One downside however of these, this location is this is a random encounter location. So uh, right here there will be a random encounter, particularly two enemies fighting, whether it be cultists fighting rad scorpions, raiders fighting settlers, or whatever. So I guess you could farm rep here as well. This farm location 
the one on this side of the road features a corn, corn minor cornfield, very small, a windmill still spinning, a phosphate deposit, a tato pen, water pump, a house, and a small garage. This location is currently, uh, I'd say southeast of the Hornwright Estate. Now, if you want a bigger field and maybe a bit more room, you can set up across the street over here. This one features a not two floor, one floor, but longer house. A blue barn, or red barn, <laughs> with a triangle that can be sounded. You can put some minor benches in here. Not much room, though. There's a lot of uh, junk just laying around. And the field is, however, a bit bigger. There are some minor uh, obstructions, and there are pumpkins here that you can harvest. There's a lawn, a field, plower, and a boat, as well as a picnic table in the middle of the field. However, you can still build your bench or your plants here. The house up here features some minor loot, some uh, alcohol, double barrel shotgun. And there are some wind chimes up here which you can loot. Now, if you go down the road, there is a random spawn location for enemies. These enemies can come up to your house if you have stuff close to the barn. Particularly loud things like benches and water purifiers, so be be careful, they will come up here occasionally. However, it, oh, there is stuff here, alright. I was going to say, there doesn't appear to be anything here, but there are wolves. Very evil wolves that are hard to kill, jeez. So yeah, sometimes super mutants can be scorched, can be wolves, mole rats. It's completely random. I'm going to stand over here and show you guys the location one more time. Oh, I marked it. <laughs> so this is the location of the two farmhouses. Also, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, dislike if you like. Uh, I mean, you can do whatever. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Alright. I will see you guys with another review. Goodbye.